You need guys like me. So you can point and say, look, that's the bad guy. Tony Montana, Scarface. He was a bad guy. But today I'm making this video because there are a lot of guys out there that believe the lie that it's better to be a nice guy. And so today is my anti-nice guy, pro-bad guy video. And I'm going to give you three reasons why based on characters in movies and Marvel and comic books and shit like that. There are three aspects of bad guys that make them better guys than the good guys. And the good guys are simps in comparison because, number one, bad guys always have a mission, if you notice. Good guys are always reactionary. What do I mean? If you pay attention, bad guys are always plotting. They're always scheming. They're always up to something big, something grandiose. They're ascending men, they're climbing men, they're trying to steal the moon. All of this forward positive momentum in the direction of them, their dreams makes them mission-focused visionaries. Always the bad guy is up to something big. The good guy, waiting to see what the bad guy does. Think about it in social circles too. The guy that speaks up, being a little bit more charismatic, talking to the girls and taking the risks. He's pro-movement, pro-mission. The nice guy, he's waiting for somebody to come talk to him. He's waiting for her to come look at him. He's waiting for his moment to get his word in while the bad guy is garnering all the attention. Be a fucking bad guy. Number two, the bad guy welcomes the hate. Like, he knows he's going to be hate. He knows that if he approaches life, reaching for the stars, stealing the moon, doing what he wants to do, that there are going to be people that just don't like you, don't like him. When you're marching by the beat of your own drum, when you're going after your goals and goods, when you're doing what it is that your soul calls you to do, regardless of whether or not other people think it's cool, you're a fucking bad guy. Good guys, they keep their lips shut. They stifle themselves down. They are more interested in being liked, the approval of others, and being nice than actually being real. Wearing a mask makes people like the mask. It doesn't make them like you. Making YouTube videos because you think your fans will like them or not saying things that you think they won't like means you're a fucking faker. Be a bad guy, say shit they might not like. You'll be much more free. And then number three, the bad guy, he lives by truth. Based on principle number two, he's not trying to be something to please you. He's not trying to be anything other than what he actually is. Scars and all. All messed up face. Looking like a crazy man. He doesn't put on makeup. He doesn't doll himself up. He doesn't don a cape. He rocks a black coat. Because that's what makes him feel comfortable because that's who he is because that is the truth for a bad guy. Might not be for you. Good guy, always living by lies. Putting on a smile. Fake face. Fake words. Fake character. Fake man. Fake man gets no play. Girls don't pay attention to fake nice guy. They don't get the attention that they want to garner on the screen, in marketing, in sales, in business. Nice guys lose. Bad guys win.